Well, there was another premiere in London, Barbie. We only just had the world premiere a few days ago in LA, so no one's really seen it. It's so exciting to share it finally. Margot Robbie continued the Barbie core and Ryan Gosling brought the Kennergy in a pastel green Gucci suit. He confessed his transformation into Ken was a wild ride. What was it like when you kind of first stepped onto set as Ken? It was like uh, having too much tequila. It was fun at the time and it came with one hell of a hangover. The film is out next Friday, the same day as Matt Damon and Emily Blunt's thriller Oppenheimer about the man who created the first nuclear weapon. And get this, AMC's already sold more than 20,000 tickets for fans to watch them as a double feature. It's a perfect double bill. My suggestion would be Barbie first, Oppenheimer for lunch, and then, and then a Barbie chaser. With tequila? Sure. Yeah. So cool. I'm really excited. It's, it, it came out really well. Matt felt the love at the Paris premiere yesterday. Daughters Stella, Gia, and Alexia by his side. Meanwhile, a solo Emily, who celebrated 13 years of marriage with John Krasinski on Monday, just dropped a bombshell. Oh my God, like over the moon and quite nervous. It's always a bit nerve wracking. Unsettled about the movie's premiere, the star revealed why she's taking a break from acting, explaining why on Bruce Bozzi's podcast. My oldest baby is nine and I just feel there's cornerstones to their day that are so important when they're little. Yes. And it's, will you wake me up? Will you take me to school? And I just need to be there for all of them yeah. for a good stretch. Yeah. And I'm very prone to guilt. And I think maybe all mothers are mm -hmm. for God forbid wanting something outside of being a mother. 